Hello my friends, in this Adobe InDesign tutorial, we will be setting up a long document with parent pages or master pages. We will be designing the first parent page of a long document. We'll learn all about ASC color swatches, which lets us save and import swatches from one Adobe InDesign document to another, and even into other Adobe softwares like Photoshop or Illustrator. We will be covering typography and how to center text in a frame. Now, if you wanted to create the full document with multiple parent pages, paragraph styles, and a table of content, then check out my Adobe InDesign advanced course. The link is below. And voila, let's get started. <music> So I would like us all to go to File, New, Document, and create our document from scratch. Select Print, View All Presets, and select A4. Now usually this should be in millimeters on my InDesign because I'm using UK, European InDesign. So I would change the units to millimeters but feel free to use any metric that makes sense to you. And then select landscape. And as always, make sure you tick preview so you can preview what you're doing. For pages, let's add a four. So that's 14 pages. Facing pages should be ticked. Three columns. Margins stay the same and the three millimeter bleed all around, which is the industry standard. If you can't remember what the bleed line is, so feel free to revert back to my introduction course where I explain this a bit better. And just like that, we're going to click on create. Great. Okay, so first things first, we're going to head to the A parent by double clicking, and we're going to start designing this, this page. But before we do so, I want to make sure that we have all the colors we need for our document. Now, if you look at the, at the PDF I created, I added the values here. And if you look at the folder, you will see multi-parent interior colors ASC. Now, ASC means Adobe Swatch Exchange. It's basically colors that have been saved and exported into this format. And this means that you can use those same colors and import them in different documents and even in different Adobe software applications. So we could just import this and have all the colors from this document, but we're not going to do this because I want to teach you how you would create your very own Adobe Swatch Exchange colors. So let's go back to InDesign and I will show you how. So before we start adding the colors, let's click on swatches. And now we're going to head to our fill, double click on the fill, and we're going to start adding the CMYK colors, the value of that color. So type in 93 and C, M is 82, Y is 39, and K is 40. And there is that beautiful navy color. So we're going to click on Add CMYK Swatch and it will appear here. Now let's add that beautiful yellow mustardy color. C is zero, M is 29, Y is 93, and K or black is zero. And there's that beautiful mustard color. My new favorite color, sorry, pink. Click on add CMYK swatch and then click on okay. Now we're going to change the names of these. Double click on the navy one, untick name with color value so that we can rename it and type navy. Okay, double click on the yellow untick name with color value 
and type mustard and OK. Now to save these colors as a ASC color so that we can import it in other documents, you just have to click on one, hold down the shift key, click on the other, click on this hamburger icon and then click on save swatches. Now we can save it in that folder and call it Kate's interior maybe and then click on save. Now, just so you know, if we were to create a new document, that document wouldn't have those colors. So if we go to file new document and have a new document, we do not have those colors in here, as you can see. So we would have to import those colors that we've just created. So we would go to the hamburger icon again, and this time select load swatches and choose Kate's interior ASC, click on open. And now this new document will have those colors. So it's as easy as that. And it even works when you use other Adobe software like Photoshop or Illustrator. Okay, so we don't need this document anymore. So let's click and don't save and go back to the PDF we were creating. Okay. So now that we have our colors, we can start designing. So let's go back to our pages and make sure that our A parent is selected. And we're going to start creating this. So I've added a bunch of information to my InDesign file, just so I know where to place everything. So this rectangle needs to be 45 with a three millimeter bleed. So 48 millimeters, if my maths are correct. So what we'll do first is we're going to create the rectangle. Then we're going to create the text and we're going to create paragraph styles from each style so that we can then apply them to the rest of the document. Okay. So let's go back to that document and let's go. So I would like us to go to the rectangle tool and make sure you have that mustardy color selected by going to the fill and select mustard. And then I would like you to click and drag a rectangle and drag it down until it says 48, until the H is 48. The H stands for height and then let go. Now, obviously we're human, so it doesn't always work. We're fidgety. We drank too much coffee. So we also have the option of adding H48 over here. And now you could press the arrows on our keyboard down if you wanted to, so that it aligns perfectly to that beautiful red line. Perfect. Now let's go to the selection tool and click away, deselect. Great. So now we're going to start adding the text. So let's go to the type tool and let's click in this rectangle and it is now a text frame. We've now converted this rectangle into a text frame. And as you can see, the parent page is already working because it's appearing on every page, this yellow. Great. So let's start typing. So follow me and type, we are made dash to dash measure comma luxury comma return interior designing consultancy enter at your door service enter feel free to zoom in if you wanted to command or control plus great now let's start formatting the text so just make sure that you installed all the necessary fonts, interstate font from Adobe fonts, because this is the font we'll be working with. And I love using a combination of the same font. I love using the same font, but with different weights. For instance, interstate bold, interstate regular, interstate italic. I think it looks good and creates consistency. 
Okay, so if you could select the first two lines and go to Character Formatting Controls and type Interstate Bold. The size is 24. The leading or the space between the lines is 27. Make it all caps. The fill is that beautiful navy. So scroll down and click on that navy. And finally, the space after is two millimeters. One, two. Great, now we're going to start formatting this subheading, which will also be the subheading for all the other text. So let's select this text and go back to character formatting controls. Go over here and again, use the font interstate bold again. The font size is 13. The leading is 15. The color is paper or white. And finally, the space after is two millimeters. One, two. Great, now before we start adding and creating the paragraph styles, I would like us to add hidden characters, which I talked about earlier. It's where we see hidden characters like spaces and paragraphs. So let's go to type and select show hidden characters. And now we can see these. These will be very important later on, especially for something called a forced line break, which we'll cover later. Okay, so let's now move this text more to the center. So we're going to use something called a text frame option. And to do this, we're going to right click, click on text frame option, make sure this is unticked and have 11 millimeters at the top and 21 millimeters on the left, which is pretty specific. And then we can click on okay and there we go. Great, now that we have these, we're gonna start adding and creating paragraph styles. Now let's start creating our first paragraph styles from these. Well done, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Now, if you wanna carry on designing and create paragraph styles or template, for the text you just created and learn how to apply multiple parent pages to different pages of a document, then check out my Adobe InDesign advanced course. The link is below. We also learn all about QR codes, paragraph styles, all kinds of tables, table of contents, images inside text, and much more. We'll also learn how to optimize Adobe InDesign preferences to make everything go much more smoother and faster. And voila, see you soon.